about to start my workout for today. This is another body weight workout. The only thing you're going to need is an exercise mat or a yoga mat. If you don't have a mat, a towel should be fine. We're going to be focusing on lower body again today. So abs, legs, and booty. We're not going to be lifting anything and we're not going to be doing any push-ups. And the entire workout is just gonna take us a little bit over 30 minutes. However, it is divided up into three 10-minute segments. So I'm going to include this workout on my playlists of 10-minute workouts, 20-minute workouts, and 30-minute workouts so that you can mix and match the segments depending on how long you want your workout to be and what you want to work on today. I will also be including a set of arm circles in between each of these three segments. That's the only upper body work we're doing today though. We are again today on intervals of 15 seconds rest, 45 seconds of work times 10 rounds. So that's 10 minutes. With each 10 minute segment of the workout, we have a circuit of five exercises that we will be going through twice. So that means again today, there are a lot of exercises. It would take me too long to demonstrate and explain all of the exercises before we begin. So I'm just going to do my best to walk you through the exercises as we are going. But of course, if you have any questions about how to do the exercises with the correct form, please just ask. It's very important that you understand how to do the exercises correctly so that you reduce your risk of injury and so that you make sure you're getting the maximum benefit out of each exercise. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Also, please don't hesitate to reach out if you need help with beginner modifications. It is extremely important to me that all of my workouts are accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them with me. I am always here to help facilitate that, so ask questions if you have them. And also remember that I always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box down below the video. And you're going to watch me do it right now. So watch me do it, read the instructions. But then of course, as always, if you have any questions about the format, how it all fits together, how you can mix and match the segments to customize the workout, I am right here to help, so please do not hesitate to reach out. And also please remember, especially if you are going to be working out along with the video, two things. Number one, go at your own pace. And number two, do not sacrifice your form for speed. So if you are ready to do this workout with me, go ahead and grab an exercise mat or a yoga mat. If not, maybe a towel. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up. And when you're ready, let's get started. For our first 10 minute segment, we're going to be down here on the mat in an elbow plank. We're going to do side to side hip dips for 45 seconds. So my watch is going, starting my timer now. We're starting with our 15 second rest interval so that we have a few seconds to get in place and we don't lose anything off of our work interval. So coming down to your elbow plank, lift those hips high, engage the core, and now we're gonna dip the hips side to side. So dip your hip to the right, tap it to the mat, Return to the starting position, and now to the left. So we're alternating sides with each rep. Make sure you keep that core nice and tight and engaged the whole time. Feet are together. They don't have to be like touching, but close together. Remember to go at your own pace. Don't race through the exercise. You want the movement to be controlled always, but we are trying to keep it moving and fit in as many reps as we can during each 45 second rest interval. Just make sure you're not uh, doing so at the expense of your form. So next we're gonna do bird dogs. So come up into a tabletop position. You're going to extend one foot behind you, the opposite arm in front of you, Crunch knee to elbow. Now bend that knee and tap the heel. We're gonna stay on one side for the entire 45 second work interval. And then with the next work interval, we'll switch sides. Again, making sure to tighten up those abs. Keep your core engaged. Now we're gonna switch 
sides. So you lift the opposite hand, extend it in front of you, extend the opposite foot behind you. And then you're gonna crunch in, bringing your elbow to meet your knee, then extend, then you're gonna bend this knee, reach around and tap the heel of the opposite hand. position and then a sit up. So the bottoms of your heels, I mean the bottoms of your heels, the bottoms of your shoes are touching, your feet are together as you press your feet into the mat, pressing the ground away and lifting those hips as high as you can really squeezing those glutes at the top. And then you're keeping the bottoms of your feet pressed together as you sit up and touch the toes. Okay, final exercise in this first little circuit, bending the knees, feet are flat on the mat. You're going to lift your shoulder blades up off the mat, reach to the side and tap the heel alternating sides and keeping your shoulder blades off the mat the whole time. You're just moving laterally. So imagine your body can't go up and it can't go down. You have to stay right on this plane and you're just using those obliques. Your arms and your hands are staying still. You're using your obliques to shift laterally and touch the heels. All right, that's it. That's our first little circuit. So now we're just gonna go through that once more. So starting again at the top, coming up into your elbow plank, and we're gonna dip the hips side to side. Make sure you're actively engaging your ab muscles the whole time. Honestly, your abs should be on fire. Okay, 
rest. We're gonna switch sides. So tabletop, extend the other leg, opposite arm, crunch knee to elbow, and tap the heel. seconds keep pushing now for our frog loop bridge raises so bottom of the shoes touching extend the arms up overhead press the ground away with your feet Squeezing those glutes at the top. Control the movement as you lower your hips back down. And then sit up and touch the toes. Exercise. <sighs> Oblique heel taps, so lifting the shoulder blades up off the mat, extend the arms up to the side. <sighs> tap the heel, tap the heel. Right, that's it that's our first 10 minutes section one is done if you're just looking oh sorry little spider little baby daddy long legs i disturbed that i touched its web no you didn't catch anything that was just me all right what was i saying oh so if you chose this workout off of my playlist of 10 minute workouts because you're just doing looking to do a quick 10 minutes that can be your workout today. That was a great little ab and booty workout. Um, so go ahead and do your bonus for B. Please take at least a good 10, 15, 20 minutes to stretch before you hit the showers, have some lunch, get on with your day. If you're continuing on with me, before we start our next 10 minute segment, I'm going to do arm circles. I'm going to do 100 reps of arm circles. Just kind of a little palate cleanser. So you can skip it if you want, or you can pick something else that you want to work on today. So if you want to do a little cardio section, you can do some jump rope or up and down the steps, hop on the elliptical or the treadmill or uh, exercise bike if you have one. Um, or if you want to do some upper body work, you could you know, do a set of push-ups or whatever you want to do. I'm going to be doing arm circles just to mix it up a little bit and to give our um, lower body a little bit of a chance to rest in between sections. So. I'm just going to hold my arms out to the side and I'm going to do small circles. So think of with your fingertip, drawing a circle around just your shoulder socket. So it's not a big circle. It's just a little circle like this. So if I was drawing a circle on the screen, you would see it going around just my shoulder area. Make sense? I'm going to do 100 circles to the back. So when you're ready, arms out to the side, keep those shoulders 
down away from the ears and keep the shoulder blades pinched together in the back and here we go circle one two three four five ten we're going to hundred so do your best Halfway there. Sixty. Seventy. Keep pushing. Seventy-five. 80, 90, just 10 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Of course, you can also do that holding on to really light weights couple of water bottles or like a set of one or three or five pound dumbbells or maybe shampoo bottles you can fill them with water or uncooked rice or whatever but just this kind of a little palette cleanser I'm doing it with no weight today just to kind of start easing back into doing some upper body work all right so for our next 10 minute segment we're going to be standing I'm going to start with a squat and a reverse leg lift, alternating legs with each rep. So with your squats, remember shoulders back and down, chest is lifted high, core is engaged, push your booty back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you with your booty, back flat, weight in the heels as you sink down into your squat. And then we're just gonna lift one leg, kick it up behind, squeeze the glutes at the top. So when you're ready, here we go, starting with a 15 second rest interval. Four, three, two, one, and go. Shoulders back and down. Squat and lift the leg. Squat, other leg. So really feel those glutes at the top. of this lunging foot and then just lift the leg so as I lunge my back is flat the weight is in the heel of this lunging foot shoulders are back and down my chest is high the whole time and I'm just lifting that leg straight up I'm not kicking. You can if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just not what I'm doing today. I'm just lifting the leg straight up to the side, keeping my knee more or less straight as I lift the leg. 15 seconds rest. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. So now this is my standing leg. I'm going to lunge to the side. Shoulders back and down, chest high. Core is engaged. Pushing the booty back. 
So the back stays flat and keeping the weight in the heel of this lunging foot. Then press the ground away and lift the leg. This leg stays straight the whole time. Next, we're doing a good morning with an oblique knee crunch. So clasp the hands together behind the neck, soft knees. We're gonna hinge at the hips for our good morning. And then as we stand, you're gonna lift one knee, twist your body thoracically, and bring the opposite elbow to meet that knee. So again, keeping the chest lifted high, flat back as you hinge at the hips for that good morning. Alternating sides on that oblique knee tuck. Okay, one last exercise in this little circuit. I'm gonna do a lunge plus a kick. So one foot is facing you, the other toes are pointed out, these toes are pointed towards that wall. I'm gonna pivot that back foot to the side and lunge. Now I'm gonna stand, bring that back foot forward and kick it up, pivot back to the front. Now point these toes towards the opposite wall, pivot and lunge, kick that foot up and pivot back to the front. So point the toes to the side, Pivot, lunge, kick, pivot back to the front, point the toes to the other side, pivot, lunge, and back to the front. That's it. That's our circuit. Just gonna repeat that all once more. So starting again at the top with a squat, kick back, alternating legs. So squat down and kick it back. seconds rest. Next is a side lunge with a leg lift. Same thing on the other side.
15 seconds rest. Next is our good morning with an oblique knee crunch. Just 10 seconds left, keep pushing. After this, we have just one exercise left in this little circuit. And that's gonna be our pivot lunge with a high kick, alternating sides. So run, rotate one foot out to the side. and stretch. If you're not continuing on and doing part three, but you want to stick around and do another set of arm circles with me just to even it out, we're going to do another set of 100 arm circles. So last time I was circling my arms to the back. This time I'm going to reverse the direction. I'm going to do 100 arm circles to the front. So shoulders back and down, knees soft, core is engaged when you're ready. Circling to the front this time, 100 reps, small circles. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going, halfway there. Seventy five. We're getting there. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. 15 more. 90, just 10 more. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Shake it out, stretch the shoulders, grab your mat. We're gonna be back down on the mat for part three, our final 10 minute segment. What are we doing? 
Okay. So we're going to start kneeling. So if you don't have a mat that's nice and thick like this one, you can double up your mat or if you're using a towel, like fold it over a few times so that you have some protection for your knees because we're going to be kneeling on the mat. And um, even if you don't have bad knees, this can be a little rough for 45 seconds. So as soon as you're ready, we're going to start part three. I'm starting by timer now. We are starting as always with our rest interval so we don't lose anything off of our work interval. You're going to start, oh actually first we're going to start by leaning back like this and then engaging your quads to come up and then you're going to twist and tap tap, tap, and tap. Okay, so leaning back. Now engage those quads. Lift one arm up in front of you. The other arm is gonna come back and tap the heel on the opposite foot. And you're just gonna alternate. Tap uh, opposite heel, three and four. So lean back, use the quads to come up, twist and tap, two, three, four. Using the quads and then using the obliques to twist and tap. One more. Next, we're going to do a side crunch plus a V up. So coming down onto your side, your front arm is in front of you for support. The other arm is going to be right behind your head. Knees are bent. You're going to raise the knees and raise the elbow to meet the knees. Now straighten the legs, extend the arm up overhead, and do a V up. So lifting the feet straight up and lifting your upper body, bringing that top hand to touch the toes. So bend the knees, side crunch. Straighten the legs, straighten the arm, V up. Side crunch, V up. Flip over onto your back. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the mat. You're gonna do a glute bridge raise. So actively press your heels into the mat, push the ground away, lift the hips as high as you can, squeeze those glutes, and now we're gonna march. So just lifting one leg at a time and a nice controlled movement up and a controlled movement on the way down. So don't just drop the foot down, control movement all the way down. Keep those hips lifted high the whole time and keep those glutes engaged. So really squeeze your glutes, your core should be engaged, your glutes should be engaged the whole time. No idea what's, oh yeah, I think. All right, so next, you're gonna stack your arms like this. Remember which arm is on top, because the second time through the circuit, 
you're going to have the opposite arm on top. So you're starting with your elbow plank and your elbow plank with your arms stacked. And now we're just gonna do these Santana planks, but from an elbow position. So you're just rotating into your side plank and bringing that top arm up overhead. Again, keeping those hips high in your side plank. Your core should be engaged the whole time. Make sure your abs are tight and remember which arm is on top. So that the second time through the circuit, you can have the opposite arm on top. So that's it. We're just gonna repeat all that once more. So starting again at the top, lean back, tap the heel, two, three, and four. Next is our side crunch and V up. side. Onto your back. Next is our glute bridge march. So press the ground away, lift those hips as high as you can, squeeze the glutes, and march. Final exercise is our elbow Santana plank. So make sure that you're stacking the opposite arm on top. Keep 
those hips lifted high. Keep those abs tight. Keep your core engaged. We just have 10 seconds left. plus minutes, 30 minutes plus 200 arm circles. If you want, I'm going to do another 200 reps of arm circles. I'm going to do 100 to the back and 100 to the front. So just one last little burnout before we call it a day. If you're done and you don't want to do this part, that's fine. Do your bonus burpee. Take a good 15, 20 minutes to stretch. Hit the showers, have some lunch, get on with the rest of your day. If you want to do two more sets of arm circles with me, when you're ready, here we go. Keep those shoulders down. Monitor them throughout the set so that if you feel them start to creep up towards your ears, push them down, push them back. All right, when you're ready, 100 circles to the back. Fifty, we're halfway there. Seventy-five, twenty-five more to go. Eighty. 90, just 10 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, shake it out, stretch the shoulders, breathe for a few seconds, take a good 20 seconds or so, 20, 30 seconds to shake it out and rest. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. And as soon as you're ready, let's finish up with our final 100 reps of arm circles. This time we are going to circle to the front. So this time through, if you need to pause and rest in the middle of the set, pause and rest in the middle of the set, take a few deep breaths and pick up your count where you left off. Just do your best, okay? Shoulders back and down, arms up to the side and 100 circles to the front. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, ten.
75. 80, keep those circles small. I know it's hard, we're almost done. That's 85, just 15 more to go. 90, just 10 more. Five more, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, nice. So all together that took us, took me 43 minutes and 50 seconds. So 30 minutes, 10 minutes for each section, plus however long it took to do the arm circles. Tried to keep my breaks in between sets as short as I could. Um, I do think this would work really well as one long continuous 30 minute workout. Just set your timer for 15 second rest intervals, 45 second work intervals times 30 rounds and just do each section exactly the way we did it, but no breaks in between. Um, I think that would work great. I think in the future, when I do this workout again, if I'm just going to do one or two of these 10 minute segments, or if I'm going to break them up like I did today, I would do 10 second rest intervals and 50 second work intervals for each exercise. Um, just because I didn't feel like I was really needing that full 15 second rest interval because we were only doing 10 minute segments. So um, do what works for you. It's just a reminder that you can always play with the intervals. So if you are struggling to get through the work interval, you can always make your work interval shorter. You can make your rest interval longer. And if you don't feel like you're taxing yourself enough, you can make the rest interval shorter. You can make the work interval longer. You can do more rounds. Okay, so this is what I'm doing today. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. But I hope you enjoyed this one. We're not quite finished yet. No workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left to go. But first, it is time for the McFlurry Minute. So I'm going to reset my timer to count down 60 seconds for me. I'm going to jump rope for 60 seconds, completing as many revolutions with my jump rope as I can. And if I can make it through the entire 60 second work interval without tripping over my jump rope, everybody wins a free McFlurry. So give me just a minute to reset my timer. I will be right back. All right, my timer has been reset. I've got Victoria with me today. Victoria is my beautiful silver jump rope with the pretty light pink metallic handles. And for those of you who have been asking me where I got Victoria, I will leave a link in the description box down below the video. We have a streak of 10 successful McFlurry minutes in a row going. So we are going for 11 in a row today. So we are starting, as always, with a 10 second rest interval and wish us luck because with any luck, in about a minute from right now, we will all be at McDonald's eating ice cream for lunch. Here we go. jump rope took so much out of me. It's incredible. So you guys, the reason that we are focusing on our lower body this week, abs, legs, and booty, is because um, I donated blood a few days ago towards the end of last week, 
and um, I never feel comfortable, I never feel like I have enough strength to really do any upper body stuff for several days, but also my stamina is still lagging. So that's why the workouts this week have been lower body focused and also why they've been no impact, very little if any cardio. Um, so that little bit of jump rope is like almost the only cardio I've done since like last Friday, I think. I have gone for a couple of hikes, but I've been taking it nice and slow on my hikes. So um, my stamina is coming back, but it's still lacking a little bit. Being a blood donor is something that I'm very passionate about. I like to donate blood at least twice a year, um, four times a year if I can. But I talked a lot about being a blood donor in the last video that I shared on Monday. I will link it up here in the iCard. So if you didn't see that, I would love for you to check it out and just listen to what I have to say about being a blood donor because if you've ever thought about becoming a blood donor but you're apprehensive, um, you're scared, you don't know what to expect, I walked you through the entire process step by step from start to finish. So I would love if you would check that out and then let me know in the comment section if I inspire you to become a blood donor. And if you are a blood donor but it's been a while since you made your last donation, Please let me know if I inspired you to make an appointment and get back out there and make a donation. Every day there are people who need blood because they're sick or because they've been in an accident, but the blood is only there if people like you and me take the initiative to make an appointment and go donate blood. It is the easiest way to do the most good. It takes very little time out of your day. And yeah, I have to you know, adjust my workout schedule a little bit for the next few days after blood donation, but it's completely worth it. I haven't had to miss any workouts. I've just been shifting my focus. But each blood donation can actually save up to three lives. So when you consider the low level of discomfort, the low level of inconvenience, the very short relative um, time commitment involved with making a blood donation and you weigh that against saving three lives, again, I just think it is the quickest, simplest, easiest way to do the most good. So if you are wanting to do something good today, why not make an appointment to donate blood? I will leave a link in the description box for the American Red Cross blood donor app. Download the app. It is the easiest way to get started. All of the literature is there. You can make an appointment right on the app. You can fill out your little questionnaire before you head over to donate. It's so fast and so easy. So if you are already a blood donor, please make an appointment. And if you're not a blood donor and you have any questions, um, click on the link in the iCard. Watch um, the section in the last video after the workout where I talked about becoming a blood donor. And then of course, um, if there's anything I didn't cover or if you still have questions or you need a little extra encouragement, I'm right here, so please reach out. So now we have just one rep left to go. Let's do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will be officially complete. When you're ready, final rep of the day. Here we go. All right, with that, the workout is now officially complete. If you are enjoying these less intense, low impact workouts that we've been doing this week and you would like to see more of them, please let me know. I'm more than happy to include more workouts like this in the rotation. If not, I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. So hopefully next week we will be able to start incorporating some more upper body, um, weights, push-ups, some more cardio, and I can start getting back to some more intense and longer workouts like the ones I normally do. I do think workouts like this are a great option to have, and I have been kind of enjoying the change of pace this week, so hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Let me know if you'd like to see more workouts like this. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. And even if you're not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. You guys are the best. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. One final reminder that if anything is unclear about the format, 
how it all fits together, how you can mix and match the sections to customize the workout. If you have any questions about the exercises we were doing today, any doubts at all about how to do the exercises with the correct form, or if you need any help with beginner modifications, I am right here, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or if you need help. That is gonna do it for today. But before I say goodbye, I have to say one final thank you to those of you who have been watching the videos all the way until the end and commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I say goodbye, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, I am not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. So if you are still watching this video, hello, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know that someone is still watching by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. That is gonna do it for today, and I will see you all next time, bye.